thinking about the modes got you down, don't panic, they're easier than you think. In this video, I'll give you 10 simple modal chord progressions that you can use in your own songwriting. University or college is the highest level of education. Studying for a degree or doctorate takes hard work and dedication. It also relies on years of previous education and understanding. Despite this, it is something that many people achieve and is not as exclusive as it once was. Modal keys are similar to this. They build upon knowledge of major and minor keys, but they're no more difficult to understand than these, and the chord progressions that they create are straightforward and sound great. Like a university, you can think of modes as being split up into different departments. Each has a distinct style and teaching, but they are all part of the university whole, and you may well visit more than one during your education. Let's start by visiting the Dorian department. The Dorian mode, also known as the second mode of the major scale, has a smooth, mellow sound. Despite its minor nature, it's not as heavy or sad as the minor slash Aeolian mode. For this reason, it is used widely in pop and rock to represent emotions that are somewhere between happy major scale and the sad minor scale. The first chord progression I'll show you is 1-7-3-4. This is a great Dorian chord progression. It uses the four chord, which is excellent at providing a touch of trademark brightness to Dorian chord progressions. Examples that use this include Song 2 by Blur and Happiness by Taylor Swift. Next up is 1-5-4-1. This progression is more minor focused, but again demonstrates the role of the four chord. Examples include Knights of Cydonia by Muse and Crystallized by the XX. Another Dorian progression now, one, two, three, two. This progression has a rising feeling, traveling up to the three chord. Following this with the two chord again provides a melancholic step down at the end. Examples include Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson and Headlines by Drake. We'll make our first move now and head over to the Mixolydian department. The Mixolydian mode, also known as the fifth mode of the major scale, is one that is used widely in lots of different styles of music, everything from pop to jazz and blues. Its distinctive major sound makes it very popular. A lot of classic rock relies on the seven chord of the Mixolydian mode for its core sound. Our first lecture here concerns the 1-7-4-1 progression. This is the most popular mixolydian progression, and it uses the 7 chord I mentioned earlier. It is easy to play on the guitar, uses all major chords, and defines the mixolydian sound. Examples include Orinoco Flow by Enya and Rasputin by Boney M. Next up is 1-5-4-1. This progression uses the minor 5 chord. This separates us from a pure major progression and provides a sad edge to this progression. Examples include Speed of Sound by Coldplay and You've Got the Love by Florence and the Machine. Now we'll explore 1721. As with the previous example, the two chord here provides a minor edge to proceedings. Examples include Take It or Leave It by The Strokes and Take Your Mama by Scissor Sisters. On 
to the Lydian department now. The Lydian mode, also known as the fourth mode of the major scale, has a floaty, dreamlike brightness that is elevated beyond the standard major scale. This particular sound isn't used a lot in pop or rock, but will be recognisable from the huge amount of film scores and soundtracks that use it. A lot of songs use Lydian for a small part of the song, maybe a verse or a chorus, and then go back to another mode or key. First up is 1-2-1-2 progression. This simple progression is clearly Lydian, with its use of the major 2 chord to separate us from major keys. Examples include the verses of Man on the Moon by R.E.M. and the intro to Head Over Heels by Tears for Fears. Next we'll look at 1, 5, 2. It's common in Lydian progressions to use the 1-2 scaffolding which we saw previously and to add other chords to it. This anchors the listener in the Lydian sound. Examples of this include Free Will by Rush and Bats in the Attic by King Creosote and John Hopkins. quick dash across campus now to the Phrygian department. The Phrygian mode, also known as the third mode of the major scale, has a distinctive intense and dark minor sound. Because of this, Phrygian is often used in metal music to provide an evil or exotic edge. The first Phrygian progression we'll examine is 1, 2, 1, 7. This progression will anchor you squarely in Phrygia. It drives home the dark sound of the mode. A fantastic example of the power of this progression can be found in the crushing Blood and Thunder by Mastodon. Next is one, two, three. This progression is more weighted towards major chords, but still has the undeniable Phrygian glue. Find it in London Calling by The Clash, and We're In This Together by Nine Inch Nails. You've learned some top modal chord progressions, but you're missing an important one. Watch the video on screen to learn the top 10 progressions in minor keys, and take a trip back to high school. Mm -hmm. 